Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. As you have seen in my previous video, Sim Update number 10 Beta has been released. And I'm always happy to help Asobo improve Flight Simulator, so I joined the Beta. And as you can see already, it's, would say, time to install the update. The difference is already seen here, right? By default, it will only update the standard content, at least prior to Sim Update number 10. What they did now is that they will update both the premium and the lux packages automatically, which makes sense because why wouldn't you do that, right? Uh, the install package path is the path where it will put all the updates and you can see I modified it. On the top of this video, you will see a link to a video uh, which helps you configuring that. And that's kind of, a, I would say, a recommendation if you want to participate in BDAS to prevent that you need to reinstall everything from scratch once you're rolling out of the beta again to the normal release so i'm gonna press update and then it will start downloading all the stuff uh, that will take some time i will not i would say continue talking or continue to uh, let you continue watch my screen while it's downloading 11 gigabytes of data so i'll pause the recording and once the update has been installed uh, i will return so the first part of the update has been installed so let's see what we need to do next so what you will see is that it will say, hey, there are updates available. So go to the content manager. So let's do that. And in the content manager, you will see that there are several packages which will need to be updated, right? Depending, of course, on which one you installed. Uh, you can see that I installed all the world updates. So all the world updates do have an update. Some do have, I would say, more updates compared to the other ones. You can see that based on this. And as I would say is shown in previous videos, you can also switch to the individual packages because in the individual packages, you can see which uh, items have been updated. And you can see that most of them are the boost trips, but also some of the photogrammetry uh, cities received some updates. So that's cool. So it's really easy to install them. Simply press select all and then say install. That will uh, take another few minutes. So again, I'm not gonna, I would say, keep you i'd say uh, fixed in this video right looking at how i install the update so i'll pause the recording now we'll continue once this all has been installed so everything has been installed and now we need to remove something and that's being uh, caused by the fact that the uh, g1000 nxi is now part of the default uh, installation so what you need to do is you need to remove it and you can do it multiple ways right uh, for example you can go to installed and then uh, search for it uh, so you can search for a g1000 uh, and there you'll find the g1000 nxi one and that's the one you need to remove because this is the one uh, created by working title uh, you can still switch between those packages, although it looks like that the, I would say, view is now a little bit broken. But you need to remove this one because else it won't work with the build-in. So you see that this is the one which is coming from the marketplace. This is the one which is officially coming from, uh, via the update because it also has a different icon. So we're going to remove it because that will is, I would say, one of the recommendations. Keep in mind that if you do it... It will still have some issues with, for example, third-party airplanes which are using that G1000 NXI. Uh, other than that, you can see still see that there are some updates, so I need to need to install them. Uh, so install them again, right? That sometimes happens uh, for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, so simply click it, then it will re-download those updates, and then if everything is fine, you should be uh, good to go. Uh, while they're installing, I'm going back to the home screen and show you a few things which have changed. Uh, one of the things that you see is that the world map now contains a new uh, icon here, right? So it says, hey, new. Uh, and that's, I would say, sometimes a little bit weird because it looks like that it sometimes resets things to the default. And that's, I would say, probably not what you want. Uh, if we go to the VORs uh, and uh, data, you will see this, but this is actually not new. What is new is the VFR map, which will, I will show in a future video. Uh, other than that, if we go back to the home screen, we will can see the activities. And inside the activities, we will see the landing challenges. And there was a new landing challenge. Uh, but the question is, okay, hey, where did I hide it? And as you can see, I tried uh, not all of them yet. So that's always, I would say, a risk. Uh, because now we need to find, uh, find out which one has been added. Uh, I don't think it's here. 
So let me go back to the uh, random challenge menu, go to EPEC and then check if it's there. Although I do think that it might be in this strong wind. Uh, strong winds. Is it here? No. Go back one level and then check the latest one, which is in the strong wind section. It's also not here. I thought I'm 100% sure that they announced that they would change something. So let me check the release notes, right? Because in the release notes, they mentioned that they would add something. Uh, so I'm going to do that on another screen uh, while keeping talking. Uh, so I'm going to flightsimulator.com and then validate the forum post, uh, which was mentioning that they would add uh, that specific piece to uh, the new version of flight simulator and that sim update number 10 uh, again it has been released yesterday so let me see where i saw it a new spotlight event wow it looks like the spotlight event isn't there yet <laughs> because normally where are spotlight events normally spotlight events are shown here and i don't see it over here so could be a bug in the uh content not sure I don't see it yet, uh, so let's keep an eye on the next release of the uh, the beta version. Uh, one of the other observations is uh, that they have changed the menu, right, as announced in the release note. So if you go to the options, and if you go to the general options menu, you will see a new option here, which is uh, shown as uh, experimental. Here we've got the famous replay tool, right? The famous replay tool as probably you've used in the past. Uh, at that time it required some enhancements. I will need to have a look if it's, I would say, enhanced already in this sim update. Then we've got the low power mode, right? Which reduces the power your machine is using. If it's in the menu options, you can either switch it on or off. We've got the package reorder tool. I need to have a look at that one, what it exactly does. And we've got the add new render window and the add new render window allows you to add a second window so if you're using multiple displays they can build or say the flight simulator around you so those are new options which are there you will find them in the experimental menu so that's really cool to see uh, other than that uh, there might be some changes over here right uh, because they said they they would support uh, a new anti-aliasing -ali mode and that's indeed true because they will say, hey, you can also use uh, DLSS. Uh, so let's see if we can switch to it, right? You can now switch to DLSS, that's a new option. And it says it uses the AI super resolution to provide high possible frame rates at maximum graphic settings. Uh, if you switch to that menu, it will move to this one uh, where it will add this window. It will say, hey, I want to use it uh, balanced or I want to uh, use it quality. Uh, ultra performance and performance so that's probably i would say worth crying out which one is suiting uh would say your machine the best to ensure that it still works uh, as expected so in this video we looked at how to install the update and a first look at some of the changes which are i would say in the gui uh the experimental menu is i would say probably the coolest one uh, also we looked at how you need how you can install the additional updates because there were some additional updates as part of this sim update number 10 here ends this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time